gathered here today to honor family and friends as we commit our lives to, the, to each other in matrimony. Ronnie, you've been a friend for the last seven and a half years for me. Some of the others here, we've known each other through bowling, through work. You know, we haven't known you very long. That's right, it's about an hour. <laughs> but uh, Ronnie hasn't stopped talking about you since the day we met. So, let's uh, talk about the purpose of marriage. You know, I'm causing a little possible danger here by bringing this out in a bowling alley, but uh, this is the Bible. This is everything that I base my life and my career on. And it's uh, the real reason why marriage is considered to be so sacred. The Bible teaches that God said it wasn't good for man to be alone. If you know Ronnie, you know that if he's left alone all by himself, he can get into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Marcy, it's your job to put brakes on him. It's not, not to stop the fun, but it's to turn the direction of the fun to each other. It says that for this for this reason, a man leaves his father and mother and cleaves unto his wife. That means they hold each other so close that no matter what other people do, it's virtually impossible to hold them. So let me start by asking, who gives this one? Take her right hand, put it in his right hand. Marriage isn't one of the easiest things to talk about because in today's world, one out of two ends up in divorce. The thing is, it's a matter of marriages being made in heaven but having to be lived here on earth. And what you're doing in, in saying that you want to marry each other is that you're extending your hand one to another and that you will be there always. You will cherish each other, you will love each other, you will honor each other, whether they are there by your side or whether you're a thousand miles apart. The bond of marriage is appropriate. So let me ask, aren't you, are you here of your own free will? You are. Ronnie, are you here of your own free will? All right, this is the dangerous part. If anybody knows a reason they cannot be married, please speak now or forever hold your peace. Good, we're done. That's all you get. That's all you get. All the chance. So let me ask you to turn, stand side by side, because you're going to do this for the rest of your life. Are you sure? You sure you want to do this? Yes. Okay. Go on. There's a little passage over in Proverbs 31. It kind of goes along with it's not good for man to be alone. And it's where it says that it's good for a man to find a virtuous woman. Now each one of you knows that there are things that you're bringing to the marriage. And before we start reciting vows, I want you to understand that marriage is not a 50-50 proposition. You bring 100% of yourself. You bring 100% of yourself. Because anything you withhold, we can do on Someone bring a chair up. There we go. 
We have a superhero in the crowd. We got it. Marcy, I'm going to ask you to turn around. Sit this way. that's the most important thing. In marriage, we fall in and out of love. Don't ever think that it's all love and kisses. But the best thing you can be to each other is to be best friends without ever losing sight of the goal. It's a covenant marriage that we're talking about. It's a covenant between the two of you and one other partner. And that's God in heaven. As you grow closer to him, you grow closer to each other. So take that ring and put it on the third finger of her left hand. Repeat after that. Marcy, with this ring. Marcy, with this ring. I be with. I be with. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for today to be able to witness the, the sharing of love, the sharing of lives. Father, the sharing of destinies. As we go forth, let each one of us who are here as witnesses be reminded of the vows that we have made. And Father, that all things through you are possible. Father, I just ask your blessing in Jesus' precious name. Alright. Ready to do this? By the authority vested in me by the state of Texas and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your girl. I think he likes it. And ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to introduce to you for the first time in public, Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie Lucas. 